What's up everybody? Welcome to today's vlog. This is day 10 of 100 day storm painting challenge. If you're new to the vlog, my name is David McCumber. I'm an artist from Cape May and this is a behind the scenes look at my art and my life as an artist. So today we're gonna get into painting number 10 of 100. Let's get started. we showed that we got this new camera, the G7X, which is what I'm filming on now, and that has freed me up to take my GoPro camera and make more of a more permanent time-lapse camera for videoing art. And I was trying to make like a square, more square setup, and I don't, this is a really janky setup we got going on right now. So I got this clip clamp thing, to this clamp thing, to this pipe that's holding the GoPro, and then the art's here, and this kind of gives a straight on shot to the time lapse of the artwork without being like in my way. So when I'm here painting, it's not blocking my whole thing. But one thing about being an artist is it's like you you have to be creative, but you have to be like to paint or to make something beautiful, but at the same time, you also have to be like creative. You're always solving problems as an artist. And um, so even if you make a big painting, you have to figure out, well, how do I ship this painting? Or how do I pack up this painting? So the problem to solve today is how to video and this not be all janky looking. Is janky a bad word? Leave me a comment below, let me know. Wonky? Goofy? Janky? One thing I've noticed is while I'm filming these vlogs, people are always walking by these windows, the big windows, out front. And I thought about what if I did like a live studio audience for my vlog, like once a week in the morning, you could come and watch me film the vlog. If you'd be into something like that, leave me a comment below and uh, maybe that could be a new idea. Live studio audience vlog. People are always talking about how I should have my own show. I kind of do, it's a vlog. All right, back to the painting. I make no claim to be an amazing father. I'm not bragging or boasting here, but tonight is Corey's first soccer practice. And being an artist and working for myself, a big part of that is it allows me the freedom to be able to make my own schedule, to go to things like soccer practice. But it also allows me the freedom and gives me the opportunity to become a workaholic and work nonstop. And one thing that I learned from my dad that I'm trying to do now that I don't think I appreciated as much as a kid, but is making that effort to be at every game and as many practices as I can. And tonight I was super busy. I still have a lot of stuff to do for work, but taking time out to go to that game or go to that practice to be there to cheer him on, to encourage him. I just think it's really important. And um, yeah, it's just about perspective and priorities. And so I just wanna challenge you today. Where's your perspective? Where's your priorities? If you're working too much, don't be a workaholic, you dingus. That's basically all I'm saying. All right, let's get back to the painting. I'm going to practice.
painting 10 of 100. Tune in tomorrow. Oh, crumb. I just got paint all over my hands. Painting. Crah. Tune in tomorrow, day 11. Let's do this thing. See you then.